Hey guys, Kidrew here for the Tech World with yet another tutorial and overview of this Firefox add-on uh, called Ubiquity. Now, I don't like to call it an add-on because it's really much more than that. It's a powerful web tool that I think should be, you know, once uh, developed more, should be integrated into most browsers. You know, a tool like this. Um, now, this is developed by a guy named Azar Raskins, who's a really popular guy within the Firefox community. He does a lot of cool projects. Um, in the Mozilla Labs. Now this is a Mozilla Labs add-on, meaning it's not publicly uh, officially released yet, but you, you can still download it. You just have to sign up for an account. Um, I'll give you the link in the video description to the right. Now, as you see here, it says an experiment in connecting the web with language. You can watch the introduction video, which is really good. It explains a lot of the features and how this uh, you know uh, add-on works. It's uh, essentially, it's something that helps you create mashups with the web, something that makes everything simpler and with an easy to go interface, you know, all connecting it with words, you know, simple uh, commands just to type in. Um, making it, like I said, the web really, really easier to use and much more efficient. Now, for example, here, I'm going to go over to my blog here, and now this is see his new theme, adrianstech.com. Let's say I was reading a post on any blog. And I'm like, uh, you know, I don't know what the site TMZ is or anything like that. Of course, you can open a new tab, search it up on Google, or you can use your add-ons. Um, and ubiqu here's uh, you know, where ubiquity, ubiquity would come in. So I'm just going to hit Control Space, and then I'm going to type in Google. That's the command for Google and TMZ. And what it's going to do, it's going to pop, uh, show me the top three results right here and what it is. And I can open it, or I can, you know view it or I can you know just open it in a new tab if I would like to or I can go back here and I can click it from within and the same thing it would just open it up and it would show me the site um, now that's one just you know really cool quick way to google something and find out what it is and you know get a, s a summary from this right here um, now there's tons and tons of commands uh, now let's see here so if I went down here, that actually comes with the command list that you have all this stuff right here. So a huge amount of stuff I can do. Now, again, I'm on the blog. And, um, you know, where's that TMZ? Where's the word TMZ? Now, let's say, you know, I, I wanted to highlight that because I, you know, want to make sure I can find out what that is uh, for later on. So I'm just going to drag over it, select it, hit Control Space, type the word. Sorry, it's not popping up here. Hi. Okay, there you go. Highlight. And then I'm just going to hit enter, and there, it highlights TMZ for me. That way, when I come back to the page later on, Ubiquity is going to remind me that, oh, you know, I had to do something. I had to find out what TMZ was, what the site was, etc., stuff like that. These are just one of the many commands it has, as you see here, a huge amount of stuff. Now, not only does it have stuff to edit the page, but mess with the browser as well. You know, can custom, uh, you can really command the browser, so... I'll say, you know, I want to go forward to that page I was on, so I'll say forward one. Me oh, sorry, that wasn't on any page over here, sorry. Maybe I should go to another page. I'll go to google.com, and then, you know, hang on, is it loads here? One second. Sorry, Google loads here, and I'll realize, oh, hey, you know, I need to go back, and I can, you know, obviously you can hit the back button, or you can go for, uh, use the commands here. So backward, or, sorry, back. And one. Now, uh, this would come really handy if you know you've gone back. You know, a lot of steps within your history, so you can say back to, but back whatever. Um, you know, these commands are really, really simple. And again, you know, of course you can hit the back button, but you know, these commands also make it uh, a little bit more convenient if you've been through a lot of pages and stuff like that. Um, now, it's even cooler. You can even use stuff to like Wikipedia and stuff like that. So. Uh, control space, I mean, control space again, and I can say wiki TMZ, because we're just using that as an example. It's going to search it all in real time right here, searching Wikipedia for TMZ, and let me just exit out. And here it goes again. TMZ can refer to any of the following. I'll show you the sites, what it is on TV. Really, really cool stuff, and you can even link to Wikipedia and stuff like that. Just amazing stuff. Now, you can even do email, a whole a lot of stuff you can email messages uh, you know to contacts uh it has support for twitter so you can say twitter and then put the status reading sorry we want to space that out so reading my blog and then i can say as and then, sorry no, no i would have to put kid guru oh no 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 reading my blog and then um Kid Guru, is that right? No, 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 okay, sorry. You want to find out as your username, as Twitter username. Okay, one second here. 
Okay, guys, sorry about that. I had to pause the recording for a second. Okay, um, anyway, so I was just saying, um, now when you get a new command, um, or any command at all when you type it in, it's going to tell you how to use a command. So if I was to delete this, you hear, see, see here it says Twitter, then your status. So I'll say recording or video, or, you know, anything. You can just say test. And then as the username, all you have to do is hit enter. It's going to ask you for your username and password. And I'm not going to do that. It's just a verification. I don't, you know, want to type that on video. So once you hit enter, it'll show you that, you know, you're typing your Twitter username and password. And you're good to go. And you, as you see here earlier from my, uh, when I was recording the video earlier, but I had to pause it, um, it pushed out that Twitter notification. So it's a really, really cool tool for, you know, social networking, anything. I mean, you have resources to Google search, uh, Amazon, uh, Answers, Ask, a whole bunch of stuff. Even you can search within Bugzilla, which is, uh, you know, uh, the bug, uh, the reference for bugs and, you know, anything for Mozilla. Add-ons, etc., etc. Now, um, you can check calendars, a whole list of commands, and I'll leave links to all these tutorials and stuff like that. And, you know, like I said, the tutorial can... Uh, the video tutorial can explain more than I can within the time limit that I have. Um, now you can even search YouTube. So if, like, again, uh, just say YouTube, uh, Twitter song. I don't know. I'm just really typing in here. There actually is a Twitter song, I think. And it says uh, I'll search the thing. Now I'll do a live search right here. And there's I Justine's video, I believe. Yeah. So um, there's a whole bunch of you know just live update stuff, and um, you can do you know add to calendar or you know view your Google calendar you know everything all in one you know just live and that's really what the web is coming to you know everything on the fly uh, you know stuff like friend feed they're starting to do live they've done live updates I mean the web 2.0 uh, as I say it is really um, you know evolving and this is going to be one of the things that I believe in the future is going to be incorporated in a lot of browsers and won't just be an add-on so guys um, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial I'll, again I'm going to leave links to uh, give you, you know, further instructions on commands and how to get used to it. So check it out. It's called Ubiquity, um, a really, really cool uh, tool for, you know, emailing, you know, uh, daily web surfing, anything research, anything, guys. It, it does a really, really good job of all in one. Um, so, guys, uh, thanks again for watching. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Don't forget to check out the website at adrianstech.com. Email me any questions, concerns to adrianstech at gmail.com, guys. Thanks for watching. Comment, rate, subscribe.